let's get back to the business, eh? Ooh, that is pretty. I need to do my wind down Wednesday video. Um, I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek. All right, guys, got the keys to the city and I'm about to go. When you have stuff on your eyes, do you feel tired? <laughs> Try to sign out. Sign out to the people. It's deeper than black or white. It's bigger than that. Let me sip on this wine. because I never know if it's gonna be a day in the life, spend a few days with me, or who knows, it might be a weekly vlog for the whole week. Who knows, but we're gonna go ahead and stick to calling this a weekly vlog. So before we get into today's video, I want to welcome back all of my subscribers. Thank you for coming back to watch another video with me. You know it's Mad Love here. And if this is your first time tuning in, do me a big favor and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my videos. So today I'm going to go straight into showing you some packages that I got. Um, and if you want to know this right here, this is by Bath and Body Work. This is their Shea Butter Hand Cream. If I can get to the store, let me see. Y'all know that light be lighting. Can you see? I don't know, but I'll leave a link. But this is their um, Jingham hand cream. And my girlfriend, Calandra, that did the, um, she did a brunch a while back. I think I showed the video, or at least I did a reel. Anyway, she gave us all um, like gift bags um and this hand cream was in here when i say this hand cream smells divine i definitely have to get a bigger tube to have um and then i probably well you know realistically because it's a hand cream i might just get multiple of this size because i like to keep hand creams in all the vehicles because you know we are not trying to be riding around these streets ashy okay so anyway so let's go ahead and get into these packages I want to show you everything that I got because I am attempting to do no spin November. I'm calling it no spender, <laughs> but I'm going to attempt to do no spender. The only things that I am anticipating making purchases on uh, will be around Black Friday. So that's going to, that's going to be my, um, only allotment to buy things. So... This video will probably be the last video you see me show you anything that I purchased. Not unless it's like groceries or something like that. Or like I said, I do plan on getting some of these. Um, I want to try to go out and run some errands today. 
but there's a nail in the tire so the hubs gotta fix that so i am in the house i do also no i i am <laughs> going to the doctor either today or tomorrow a lot of places just aren't accepting new patients and the doctor that i had she doesn't accept the insurance that i have anymore so it's been really difficult so with this breakout that i've been having and still experiencing i don't think it's breaking out anymore it's just that the areas where the breakout occurred it just really doesn't feel like it's getting any better so i'm going to have to go to urgent care and i don't like going to urgent care because they don't never really give you the right diagnosis in my experience but anyway with all that being said i'm like four minutes into rambling i want to show you some stuff that i got so the first thing i want to show you is this amazon order and i do have a few other things that um are coming in from Amazon today. If I don't get them today, I'll show them to you tomorrow. Um, Cause I do intend on filming tomorrow because either way, I still gotta run my errands. So if I have to wait till the hubs gets back and I use his car, because ain't nobody trying to ride around with a nail and it come out or something and I end up with a flat. <laughs> so I just picked up a couple of little things. Um, I ordered me some more Terry Cloth head wraps. And the ones that I have right now are just the plain Velcro. But I am embracing the soft life. I'm embracing my femininity. Um, and so I was like, I want to be like all the girls with the head wraps with the bows. So I found this three pack. And you can get them. They come in threes, the, the one that I order. And you can get them in different colors. But I decided to do the black, pink. And this looks more like a cream. And they have these wrapped real nice. So, ooh, they feel so good. All right, so let me show you. So it's just a little small bow. And hopefully my camera isn't blurry. I cleaned my lens, but I'm looking at my monitor and it looks a little, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks a little foggy. But I feel like this one has some black on there. I don't know. I'm going to have to return this. It looks like it's got some black fading right here. But anyway, we're going to try it on. Because I probably won't really wear the pink one. Um, but you just put it on when you're doing your makeup, cleaning your face. And I was like, I want to have one with a little bow. And this would even be cute to wear out and about during the winter time because it comes around your ears look it's a nice little ear muffs so i just i was like i want one for both so i got these um and i got them like i said in a pack of three let me see what these this white one look like what well, is cream this is the cream one so cute little bow let me adjust my lighting hold on because this is plucking my nerves I just feel like it's a glare. Hold on. Okay, whatever I did, it fixed it. So <laughs> let's get back to the business. Hey. Alright, so this is the white one. There we go. It's actually more so a cream color. And then this is the black one. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that whole situation. But I fixed it. And I'm not going to re-record the opening, so <laughs> judge yourself, not me. All right, so the next thing that I ordered were these three layered coffee cups with lids because... I wanted something that was more on the go and um, style, was it Stylish Mommy? She had posted these bamboo cups that she got. I was like, I want some cups. So these come in a set of 50. Ooh, and I had to get black. Y'all know I had to get black. So these should last us for a while. These are 16 ounces. They do come in other sizes, 
but 16 ounce is typically a reasonable size. And let me show you the cups. So they're like, it's almost like it has the actual sleeve built around the cup. So this is the cup. So it's like these are ridges, but it's more so like, if you can see, it's wrapped around the cup. So it is a built in sleeve so you won't burn your hands and then it comes with black lids and these are the lids that come with it which I absolutely love because that way if you want to keep it closed because you know how sometimes those coffee lid, lids it already already has the opening this has it where you can reseal it so this is the little part where you would just pop it open and pop it back down so you can seal it so I like that that way you won't spill. And then that way my husband won't fuss at me when I spill coffee in the car. So these are gonna be essential. Especially like sometimes I, when I, I don't do my errands because I'm trying to drink my coffee first. This way I can take it with me and then when I'm done, I can just throw it away. All right, so the next thing is Target. And like I said, this gonna be it because anything that I buy going for is gonna be for Nugget. I don't know if I officially told you all, I'm about to be a grandma. Yes, hold the applause. <laughs> so my bonus son and his fiance, they are about to have a baby. The baby is due around my birthday. So I'm hoping that she comes on my birthday because we, me and her will be the only two female Sims, okay? So <laughs> I'm going to be excited about that. So anyway, so these are just some things that I got for myself. Like I said, no spender is happening. Only thing that is being purchased are the things that I have on my Black Friday and Cyber Monday wish list. And I'm only going to get them if they're on for Cyber Monday um, but or, Cy or Black Friday, whichever day. I'm just hoping that they will be on sale because I really 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 want to invest in these items because God has shown me and confirmed through watching other people's videos and just talking to people like I need to keep going I need to keep going and so what you believe in you invest in just like y'all believe in me so y'all invest in your time and watching me and just like I believe in my business, so I get things for my business to invest in my business, you know, just with anything. So just like God invests in me, I'm going to do the same. He is the foundation. He is the blueprint. What God says is what I must do. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so I'll show you a couple of things that I got. So these, um, I follow, I think it's Adrian. Renee, I may be saying her name wrong, but I've been following her and I've been loving her channel and I've been binge watching um, a lot of the videos that she's been posting and she had posted some stuff that she got from Target and I'm all about comfort and the way my life is set up and going to be set up, I want to be very comfortable in my own space um, and so that's what I'm invested in. So let's open up this first one. So these are slouch crew boot socks, but I like to wear socks like this around the house. They're nice and thick and they have like the little speckles on here. Um, they come in black, but they didn't have them black online, but I haven't, either, I haven't been to the store either, which I do need to go to Target because I need to stock up on some of my vitamins. So if they have them in black, I'm gonna get them in black. All right, and speaking of boots and socks, it is boot season, and I like to wear trouser socks under my boots because something about when I wear thick socks with my boots, my foot just feels all crammed up in, I don't know. So I got these trouser socks. They are by A New Day. They are non-binding non and reinforced toes, and so it has six pair, and they're just black. And they do have them in other colors, um, but I typically wear black. And then, like, if I wear my leggings, these will blend in with my leggings. Um, and they're nice, um, 
they feel really really nice they are pretty thick so they're not sheer super sheer so if you put them on I don't know if y'all wear these when you wear your mules or your uh, loafers um, but these are very comfortable and I like the fact that they don't slide down my legs either all right so the last thing that I got were these um, slippers <sighs> absolutely love them pretty sure my husband will probably hate them but i love them and the young lady that had these she actually oh these are the wrong size these are the wrong size so these are the slippers these are in a size six i needed a size nine i don't know how this happened but so cute Hopefully they have them at the store and I can do an exchange. Um, and they are Velcro, so you can adjust them to the thickness of your foot. Super comfortable too. So yeah, I'm gonna have to return these. Ah! So I'm gonna go on my app and see if they have them in the actual store. That way I can just swap them out. All right, so next up is Beauty. And I've been really, really wanting to get more into... What is this? Oh, I got a little freebie. Um, I really want to perfect my natural beats. I'm not a heavy makeup wearer, but when I do, I want it to have a nice skin like look so I'm investing in things that I watch um, other influencers use that are beauty influencers that in my opinion know what they know <laughs> and so I value the um, information that I've been receiving so I was like let me try a couple of these things and then knowing that I can return stuff I didn't think like with makeup at the beauty count um stores i know like at target and walmart and stuff like that you can return it but i don't know why i didn't think that so anyway so first thing first i did get me a another scarf this is a multi-way sleep scarf and you can wear it in multiple ways i needed something that was new um you get let's see what type of material this is I think it's satin but on the back it shows the multiple ways you can wear the scarf or the head wrap whatever you want to call it so this is going to come in handy because sometimes you know I have to wear my scarf and I want to look cute in bed and you know how the men they don't talk they be like oh yo Bonnie I'm like look I'm a sister I got to wrap my hair I can't just go to bed and wake up looking cute okay so this scarf you can ooh, and it is super soft it is a 28 by 30 so it should fit all sizes of head um, it is 100% vegan and cruelty free for those that want to know that it is satin is a high quality satin that creates a luxurious friction-free barrier for all hair types and textures can be worn day or night helps reduce breakage and tangles and hair thinning listen that right there alone reduces hair thinning is all i needed to know because i'm getting older i need to maintain what i got and make sure i'm keeping these edges protected okay um and as i told you it's smoke you can use it in different ways so this is really cute let's take it out just so we can see how big it is Hey, yes, this is a nice size wrap. It literally from the top of my head and it goes all the way to my thigh as I'm sitting down. So it is very large in size. Um, you can do the triangle method. I love the triangle method because I normally either go like this uh -uh, with my scarf or I do like this. 
no, I'm not wearing it on my hat, but I'm just giving y'all the ways that I do it. Um, and then, like I said, you can kind of do this in a lot of different ways. So that's cute. And so then I got this um, Out and Pout Sweet Tea Lip Trio. It comes with the liner, the gloss, and the lipstick. And this is by Morphe. And it was something about this color. I don't think I have anything this color, so I wanted something that was a little bit different from what I normally wear, since we are in the season of being able to wear our lips out. So I'm just gonna do a swatch so you can kind of see the colors. Ooh, this is pretty. So this is the lip pencil. That's so pretty. And this is the sweetest tea color combo. I don't know if this is the if this is gloss or matte. Let me see. Yeah, this is the gloss. Ooh, that is pretty. And then this is the lip. The lip is a matte lip. So you could either do the gloss by itself, the matte by itself, or you can layer it on top of each other. And that's the lip. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Yes. And I'll have all this stuff linked in the products mention box that way you can shop and so uh this is all from Ulta and now they did give me a freebie what is this this is the Clinique moisture surge so this is the little card that they put in the package it says before, after, and later. So you're supposed to peel these. I don't know, anyway. But on the back of the card, it says to press the black T, press the black test areas onto the, oh, okay, so, Oh, okay. So this it tells you it has like three little black dots on the on the back, and it says balanced skin, dehydrates dehydrated skin, and very dehydrated skin. Oh, I'm touching this already, so it's already telling. So this will tell you you will press the test area onto a clean jawline for five seconds to check your hydration. Test again after moisturizing and after you wash your face to see how the moisture surge keeps you hydrated oh that's interesting so these little dots you would just put them on your jawline once you clean your skin um and so it tells you which each of those dots so before to discover your hydration level to see if it's working and to see if it's lasting okay so I might give it a try. I'm very leery nowadays about just putting anything on my skin because my skin has been so temperamental. Um, so I like to be as, as careful as possible. All right, so the last thing that I'm going to share with you all today, yes, I did shop the Sephora sale and they had some good stuff. I got the things that I wanted to try that were highly recommended by um, well, three influencers that I follow that use a lot of things from Sephora. So these are the things that I got to help um, elevate my makeup game. So the first thing I got that was also recommendations from Adrian Renee. Um, these are the powder brush dual set. is in a 50 and a 50.5. They're both the same brush. One is just out the light one is just longer and one is just shorter than the other i also got a makeup forever 
um, color pencil. Um, Jasmine Ardell, she had listed this color on one of her videos. This is the Limitless Brown number 608. So it's in the packaging. So this is the packaging that this particular one came in. I clicked her link and this is what it brought me to. Um, and I'll do a swatch of this on my hand after I go through the rest of this stuff. All right, the next thing that I got was the Kaja Lash Trio. Um, this was also a recommendation of um, Adrian Renee. Um, a lot of times I don't wear lashes which is probably 90% of the time because I'm trying to perfect the application of wearing lashes because I used to get lash extensions, but I don't like the, the period when they start falling out and then you have to wait. And then I just, so it's either mascara or lash strips for now on for me. So I'm always looking for something that's going to help my natural lashes be um, pop. Right now I'm using the Benefits um bad girl bang i think that's what it is which is the bomb it extends my lashes and makes it look like i have on lash strips um so you have it comes like this they're all connected together but they do pull apart so the first one is the clear that you would apply first then you'll put on the volumizer um and then you will put on the lengthening so this is going to help fluff and extend your natural lashes if you don't have time to put on falsies so i might actually try this out tomorrow because right now i got a little bit of light um mascara on from fenty um and then in the inside you can open the box and it'll show you how to do this uh, but let me just show you so see it just pulls apart just like that but I like that it does this. That way you don't have a whole lot of... It doesn't feel like you have a whole lot of different moving parts. Everything is together. So I really like that. And this is Lady Gaga's House Labs. This is the powder, bronzer, and velvet. Let's open this up. So this is the outside packaging. And this is what is packaged in. Very, very pretty. If you fancy. Ooh. Yes. So it comes with the mirror. It's a compact. And then that's the found um, the bronzer right there. So I can't wait to see how this looks. It's just slightly over the uh -uh. <laughs> over the leaf see I like that cuz I don't really wear blush but well I don't wear blush um, but I've really been into adding something that's going to make my when I do my face like you know when you do makeup sometimes it'll just look like blank like there's no structure no breaking up so I want something that's gonna look natural but still, um, you can tell that I have accentuated my features. Like, I don't like to wear makeup to change how I look. I like to wear it just to cover up blemishes and just to give me more of a fresh look, a more put together look, especially when I'm going out to brunch or with my husband or, you know, to an event. All right, the last one that I got, which is a any girl on YouTube that does their makeup, um gets this the lord mercier this is the transluc translucent loose setting powder um right now i'm using what am i using nyx can't stop won't stop i'm using that one um, but i wanted something that was not going to have any color and so this is the translucent one take this off I'm scared to take stuff off because I don't want to make a mess well I'm not gonna take it off but this is what it looks like <laughs> it's so hard when you're looking through a monitor 
I wanted to do the monitor so you all can see the actual packaging in the right direction because if I did it selfie mode, everything would be backwards. But this is a very nice package um, and it does say that this um, is good for 12 months. And if you don't know, I know this because I do hair, so most of my products have expiration dates, but the expiration is so small, but this one you can see, but normally it will have, um, let's see if I get closer. See that little trash can in the middle? Well, it's like a, uh, let me see if I can do this without hitting the light. <laughs> that right there. It's like the packaging with the top on. It'll normally have a number with a letter beside it. And this says 12M, so that means this is good for 12 months or a year. So look at this. It's still on here. All right, let's open up this Makeup Forever pencil. The hubs is home, so I'm gonna see if he gotta go back out. If not, I might just go ahead and go to the doctor now. I really need to go to the bank because y'all know Mondays is typically my errands day. So that way Tuesday I can just kind of be in the house. Yeah, they make sure you don't get into this thing. Hold please. Okay, I got it. So it's super lightweight. And it is an actual pencil, so you would need a sharpener. Ooh, that's nice. So it's the one on top. It's almost similar to this color down here. Let me put it close so you can see the two. This is just a little more browner. So I could really use this pencil with these lippies as well. Or I can use this pencil to make a lip shade. I've seen a lot of girls will take a lip pencil and then go in and fill their lips in. That way they kind of get a matte look and then they put gloss on top of it but i got this because i have a lot of the um the buttercreams um by nyx or nyx whatever everybody's calling it and sometimes i want a little more definition i don't want my lips just to look like it's color again it's all about bringing things together making them cohesive and that's what i'm trying to do so I will probably do my makeup. I need to do my wind down Wednesday video um, because I did tell you all I would be back in November and this week will be the first Wednesday of November and I do, I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. I am going to do a rosé, yes a rosé, because rosés are great for Thanksgiving. Um, one of my clients put me on to this um, and when I went to my local Total Wine that I always go to, they were sold out, but the other, we have two that are on the same type, side of town that I work on. So it's a total of three Total Wines, I think. But anyway, my guy Alan at the Total Wine on West Broad Street across from my salon he was like, this is good. And if Alan says it's good, I know it's good. So I actually got two because the other location, they did have a lot of them. Um, and I don't know if I want to tell y'all the other location, especially my Richmond people, because y'all might go and try to take them. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the wine that I'm going to feature for this Wednesday's Wine Down Wednesday video. Okay, I don't know what happened. I put do not disturb, but call still came through. Because right now I'm recording on my main telephone. Telephone. Who says telephone? <laughs> but I'm recording on my main phone. Anyway, so what I was saying is um, I'm going to do uh, my face, put myself together, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this shirt on because I think I'm gonna record that today. That way I won't be so rushy, rushy. Um, because Tuesdays I like to try to just be here in my house and I have to do a lot of ripping and running because on Wednesday I'm back in the salon. So I try to allow myself just that day to just be in the house, not stressing about running around, doing any errands. So hopefully I can go ahead and do that stuff now. Like I said, I do need to go to the doctor so that if it won't be, if it's not today, I'm definitely going first thing in the morning. Um, and I will take y'all along with me because I have mentioned that I, you know, something's going on. So at least to kind of give y'all an update of what it is, if it's too personal to share um, immediately, I may not. Um, because some things do need to be private. Um, but I mean, I'm fine. Like I ain't passing out or nothing, but it's just when, especially for black women, we tend to ignore when things are happening to us or we try to fix it ourselves, Google search. And I'm not even going to say like, for me, it's not that I'm scared to know if something is wrong. It's just that when you're so busy and you're trying to, you know, work, trying to take care of yourself, trying to take care of your household, trying to feed your family, do laundry, you know, all the things, create content. It's like, I don't feel that bad. So I can just self-treat myself. We do that too much. And then a lot of times things will go so long that either, either it is too late to fix it or it's so bad that you might have to now have surgery or something versus you could have just got to treat it with medicine. And we do that too much. We do that too, too much. And a lot of times it's not, that, it's not the fact that we don't have health care. It's just that everything else gets prioritized. And that's why... I'm about to turn 49, so I'm in a season of making sure that I put me first because nobody else on this earth will, not spouse, not child, not parent, you're going to always be put on the back burner at some point. So you have to take care of yourself. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to close out this portion because there's more chatting at this point but when I do come back I will show y'all my full situation once I get myself together to do the wind down Wednesday video because I really want to do that today um, so I can edit that as well as edit today's part of the vlog so when I you know vlog tomorrow it won't be so much because I want to really try to be you know have my vlog days Wednesday wind down Wednesdays Fridays my weekly vlogs and then every other Tuesday, Podbeam automatically uploads my um, podcast. So that one is kind of, I don't really have to do anything but change the thumbnail. And I don't even think I'm going to start changing the thumbnails because it automatically gives it a thumbnail. So anyway, I'm rambling. So let me go so I can see how the rest of my day is going to go. And if I do go out and run errands, I will let y'all, well, I will take y'all with me, of course. I always do. So let me go. All right, guys. Got the keys to the city, and I'm about to go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go. Oh, I got to go back in the house. I left the slippers. I got to go get my slippers. And then I'm going to go to the doctor. Priorities, right? But they're on the same route. And then I can go to the bank, and I'll be good. So yeah, let's go.
right y'all i had to prop y'all up real quick because i took down my mount but just left out of target they had my slippers and they had the black socks the slouch socks they had them in other colors too and they had some long ones i almost picked up the long ones but stay focused keisha why is this not in my wallet anyway so now i'm heading to the doctor hopefully it's not a wait because i got to go to urgent care and from there i go to the bank and i can do atm withdrawals for my bank stuff because i will i don't have to have the stuff in there till tomorrow but again like i said i like to have everything done on mondays that way tuesdays just in the house editing chilling doing whatever i need to do i need to send emails i can do that while i'm sitting in the doctor's office i need to send all my alerts to my clients that have appointments and so we're gonna get to going and these um aviator shades they're target if i can link them in the description box i'll link them um this hat is from a local guy here in richmond that sells these puppies so not sure if it's a link for that but if there is i'll find it and i'll leave it in there because i have a lot of people that always ask me about the hat so let me go ahead and go so i can get there hopefully it won't be that crowded because people will be going to pick up their kids from school plus it's halloween and so hopefully that little rush that would normally be out there should be gone because when i called she said the mornings are normally the best time to come but it's normally a line and then and then when i did call like around noon they were busy so i feel like this should be a good time and there was a ladybug in the car and i believe in signs and wonders so i believe good things prayerfully this is just a I don't know, but like I said, once I get in there and get more information, depending on how private it is, <laughs> I may share because I do have some trolls, some local trolls. You know, I got the worst crook in my neck. Hold on. I mean, why people don't put on their signal light? Anyway. I have some local trolls that be trolling on my page. Yes, I see you. I see you. <laughs> and baby, you would think that these people would have a whole life, but obviously they don't. So anyway, I'm gonna stop holding this phone, but the camera lighting is everything right now. And oh, so before I go, so when I woke up, the plan was to wake up at 7 o'clock. I had a whole agenda planned for myself. But I worked out yesterday. And then on top of me, just keep constantly having these neck issues. And I know what it is. I need a new pillow. But I can't find a pillow that I like. And then I don't be liking to test out pillows no more because COVID. It just be a whole situation, y'all. But anyway. But I, um, and I've done this before. But again, like I said, I've been watching some new YouTubers that's been really inspirational. Um, and they were saying how they sometimes when they're on the go, when they don't want to do a full face, they just use their concealer for coverage. And just sometimes they have a little powder. So that's what I did today. So my blemishes aren't blemishing as much as they normally would be. Um, I didn't put any under my neck because I do have some scarring under the bottom of my neck because I'm a happy beast. <laughs> I blame it on genetics. The dad, my dad's side of the family, we are hairy. Yeah, anyway, TMI. So let me go so I can get my mind right. Pray over myself one last time before I enter into this doctor's office and pray that I get a doctor that know what they're talking about because I am going to patient first and patient first is known to misdiagnose some things and so I ain't claiming the misdiagnosis I'm claiming 
a clear, concise, precise diagnosis with a uh, easy plan of action in order to remedy this issue. Um, yeah. So, I'll be back. Okay, it looks mad packed. I see a lot of people in the parking lot with masks on, so I'm hoping they're just waiting for results. But we're about to see what it be. Okay, so it is a wait. And they do give you the option to wait in your car because they do require social distancing. As well, um, you can't record in there, which I understand that because of HIPAA. I used to work in healthcare, but um, I'm number 320, no, 232, and they're registering 229. So I got a few people in front of me for registration. In regards to being seen, I gotta wait because I think the last person that it said was like, not even 220. So I'm about to move up and steal this parking space right here. What y'all know about snagging on them pocket spaces? Okay, Bluetooth cut me off. But yeah, I am snagged this parking space and I'm just gonna sit here and just shoot the breeze until I, it's time for me to go in to register. Okay, they just called me to get registered. So hopefully, maybe a scene will go as fast. We'll see. Y'all, this is why I hate that I have to come to patients first. I've been sitting back here for almost an hour. Ain't nobody come to check on me since they first came in. They just took my vitals. The nurse asked me questions, and that was it. Like, at least pop in as you walk past. Like, this is the worst. That's why 2023, I'm getting my primary care and all that stuff off the jump because this is ridiculous. I done had like three doctors pass by. Like, nobody has just popped in at all. <sighs> And this is another reason why we don't like going to the doctors because you got to wait. Like, there's no reason why. If you're not ready for me, why you will call me back here and make me sit for an hour? I'm irritated. All right, loves, I am back home. Um, I did not do my Wind Down Wednesday video because by the time I got out of patients first, ran to the bank, in which it was, all of this was after hours, um, and then went to this grocery store. I was just like, it is pointless to put on makeup and all that stuff just to take it right back off. So the plan is to get up tomorrow early at a reasonable time, but, that's the plan um and then do my laundry go to target and then come back and film my wind down wednesday video so hopefully i can get all of that done and i can have this video pretty much edited edited it is that a word edited it <laughs> have this video edit edited it I feel like I'm supposed to say it with the ED, but it's just not sounding right. But anyway, after I film this portion of the um, the rest of today's video, I'm going to edit today's portion. So then that way tomorrow, it doesn't leave me with so much. That way I can hopefully get... Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking in the monitor. I have these eye patches on because my dark circles have been dark circling because I haven't been getting a lot of rest. And I bought this out just in case because I figured someone may ask. These are the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eye Patches with Hydro, um, and they are a Hydro Gel Patch. 
You don't have to keep these in the refrigerator. Um, I know some people do because they like the cool feeling of the eye patches, but they're fairly cool when you put them on. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> that light is getting on my nerves. But there it is. It's the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eye Hydrogel Patches. I got these from Ulta. Not sure if they sell them at Sephora or not, but I will link these. I got these when they were running a sale. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I have this one, which is still halfway. Um, and then I have another full one. But anyway, so I wanted to show you um, my last package that came in from Amazon. I do have a package at the post office. Hopefully, I can pick that up tomorrow. That was in um, an influencer buy. What I mean by influencer, I watched another YouTube influencer that posted it on her channel. And I thought it would be cute because I do want to ultimately kind of revamp my side of the office. <laughs> because I would never put out the G-Man side. I just won't. I just can't. Can't do it. But I kind of want to revamp my side. Make it less. It's not really class. It's functional. Put it that way. But anyway. So that'll be probably the only the last package that I showed you. Show you. But I want to show you what I got from Amazon. So I got this case that's been trending. I ordered one before. And it didn't fit my phone. And I ordered. And the package says 13 Pro Max. So we're going to see if this one fits. And then because I do want to do Vlogmas. This thing is like falling. I have like a small width between my nose and my eyes. So it just doesn't work. And then I've seen some people put the thin part in and the wide part. I don't know if it's a right or wrong way. But anyway. So anyway. I think I want to do Vlogmas this year. Um, last year I did do Wine Mist. Which basically was showing all the wines that I um, had from the Wine Avid calendar. Um, so I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to do it on YouTube or just do it on Instagram. But I do want to incorporate some fun advent calendars. So um, Keurig has this one. It's the 24 Cups of Cheer. And because I do have a Keurig, I haven't upgraded to a... Um, espresso yet I may get me one for my birthday I don't know but it's not a pressing matter I do know people say once you get an Nespresso you're is life-changing but right now all I know is Keurig and Keurig is working for me so if any of you have a Keurig I got this off of Amazon I will link this in my products mention um, section of the description box that way if you want to have this either for yourself or as a gift um, pretty much, it looks... So, the brands on here is 24 different um, K-Cups. The brands on here is Green Mountain. And I am in love with the Green Mountain. I think it's a cinnamon crumble with some brown sugar oat milk and or some pumpkin spice um, latte creamer from, Express, uh, from Starbucks. Woo, chan. So good. Um, so the coffees that are featured are the Green Mountain, Donut Shop, McCafe, Pete's. And oh, I'm glad because um, Happy Stylish Mommy had mentioned that she was trying Pete's out. Um, and it seemed like as soon as she said it, I started noticing the Pete's K-Cups. And I've never tried it before, so I'm definitely going to try that. Um, they have, what is this? Caribou, Cinnamon Bun. Newman's own organic. Hmm. Never had Newman's K cups. The Kahlua. That sounds interesting. Krispy Kreme. Don't think I've tried Krispy Kreme. Panera bread. Never tried Panera breads. I didn't even know Panera bread so pods. Um, and then Swiss Miss. So that's probably just like a hot chocolate. Let me see. Okay, so it does specifically say here some facts about the donut shop and the swiss miss so the swiss the swiss miss is a milk chocolate flavor cocoa and then 
one of i'm not sure if they have multiple but one of the donut shops they have a coffee red velvet latte mix hmm that sounds interesting so yes yeah, so i'm not gonna open this up just because i'm gonna i want to be surprised when i open up each one of these but like i said it's 24 cups of cheer and this is their advent calendar so i'm thinking about getting another wine one and with that being said um it'll probably be easier just for me to do vlogmas on my reels because it's less editing there i go edit it it's less to do when it comes to editing my reels than it is doing a full-on vlog um i just feel like it's more pressure when you're doing a vlog on youtube to have like the intro and the outro and the music versus on reels it's a it's a little more organic more organic than this with me and my robe and my little thing oh you look i got my little head wrap and the terry cloth it's the black but yeah more organic than this um it will have structure in which i will do like start the morning off with one of my k-cups and then maybe insert some activities whether it's here or at work and then depending on if i do a, the wine advent calendar and then i'll end the night with well no i can't do that because instagram will flag me if i do wine yes because i've been flagged all month because i had some content that showed me drinking wine which goes against the community guidelines and promoting alcoholism yeah crickets but anyway so i don't know maybe i'll if i can work on an intro like i'm not gonna have nothing else you know me coming off of a hat and all that stuff maybe i'll kind of zhuzh up an old picture put a little santa claus hat i don't know i'll figure something out i have it between now and november 30. how many days is in november this year 30 until november 30th to figure it out but yeah so that's what i got from amazon and and this robe by the way in which she's got my girls girling that's why i keep trying to have something in front of me um this is from amazon this is a kim kimono style robe um it's satin it has the the leaves are short i don't know if they're short just because of my arms or that's how it's made but okay i don't know what happened my monitor froze up but anyway what i was saying this is kimono style it's really really nice it comes in a couple of different colors but i will link this in the description box as well but anytime you're on my channel and you want to um see what i got i do have plenty of things in my description box i have my amazon affiliate links i have i need to add my um clean skits clean skin towelettes on there because i have a link for that as well um, where you get 20 percent off in which i absolutely love i wish i would have started using those when i started my whole skin care skin care journey because my skin is a lot better using those cloths along with less things that i bought that's a whole nother thing but anyway i have a lot of stuff linked in my description box so even if it's something that i never mentioned you can always go to my description box and there's something in my Amazon storefront is always going to have all the things because as I buy, a lot of times I don't mention the things that I buy, but as I buy things, I add them to my Amazon storefront. I have categories from planner stuff all the way from um, wine, coffee, and all of my categories are self-explanatory. I just try to give them like little cute names, but anyway... So I did go back and I exchanged my slippers for the right size. I got the size nine. And these are more so, I mean, even though they're called slippers, I would consider these more like house shoes 
And it's funny because I was watching Morkita's uh, channel. She was like, she calls her um, house shoes. I call them both. Like these right here, I would consider house shoes because the bottom is harder. So you can do more walking around versus, don't judge my slippers. These slippers, <laughs> they're just, you know, flimsy and flappy. So I definitely think that there's a difference. Slippers are just kind of, you know, bendable flat ones. House shoes are more shoe-like in which I consider these are more house shoes. And like I was telling y'all earlier, it does have the Velcro to adjust it. So if you have a thicker or narrow, narrow foot, <laughs> you can size these to fit. And then I end up picking up the black slouch crew boot socks. And so these are just like the cream ones, but these just have the light specs. The cream ones had the darker specs, but it's just one pair. And these were like $5, I think. Let's see. It doesn't sell on here, but I think it was like 5 or $7. But, you know, you can use this to lounge around the house in or wear them out with your boots, whatever floats your boat. And I've been in the market for new leggings, and I love the uh, New Day leggings. And these say French terry cloth lined. So it's more of like, oh, what is this? Yeah. So I have them in the... I, these ones come in large, extra large, which I like that way. It has a nice, comfortable stretch. I always get torn in between when I have to pick large or extra large. Um, but these are the large, extra large ones. They only come in two sizes. You got small, medium, which are for sizes 4 to 10. And then large, extra large, that's for size 12 and 16. Um... It's 54% cotton, 29% polyester, 15% rayon, and 2% spank. And you machine wash these in cold water with light colors. Um, tumble dry on low. Cool iron if needed. But who really needs to iron their leggings? But anyway, so these are like the um, Heather Gray. So they're not a solid, they're like that kind of blend of gray, black, and white. I got some black ones, and these ones are fleece lined. And I like the New Day ones because they don't, um, because they're a little bit thicker. And you know, you, like the Walmart ones are cheaper. However, they're thin to me, at least the ones that I've gotten in the past. I think I might go to Walmart. Um, well, no, because I said I'm on no spender. We ain't gonna see, because I need things that I can work in that's comfortable for work. And sometimes jeans is just unrealistic. Sometimes I just wanna be comfortable with no restriction. So these are the, um, fleece line and there's seamless waistline so i'm assuming that there's and if i'm making a funny face it's because this one right here feels like a sliding so this one comes in four sizes you have your small medium your large extra large and then you have your 1x which are for sizes 16 to 18 and then you have your 2x which is for sizes 20 to 22 and again, these are the black ones. And then this one, this is the first time this year I bought these. Because um, I always see them and I'm always like, hmm, I don't know. But these are considered the lounge leggings. They're high-waisted with a drawstring and pocket. Um, but I got these in a the large because the large range from 12 to 14. Um, so I figured these would be super comfortable. Um, but these are in black. So as you can see. See how it has like the little drawstring there and then the pockets. So yeah, so that's what I got from Target. So I'm going to go um, update with the doctor. It's nothing serious. Um, it's basically 
like a eczema related kind of situation which this is the first time it's ever been this bad but let me tell you it seemed like adult acne and adult eczema and all that stuff is way worse than when you're younger because i tell you i ain't have all these problems so they have me on prednisone in which i'm gonna have to be very mindful because you have to like eat with each pill like either eat before or eat after or what have you and it's i have a 10 day supply and i'm already trying to um get the extra weight off as well as maintain once i get it so i'm gonna definitely have to be very very mindful when i am taking those pills and then they gave me a pill to help with the itching that way i don't have to rely on creams as much um so i'll start taking day one tomorrow because it didn't make sense to start day one today when i'm already at the end of the night because it is legit i don't have my watch on it's got to be like maybe seven eight o'clock but i'm tired um and I feel like these eye patches are making me feel even like when you have stuff on your eyes, do you feel tired? I don't know. So I'm going to take these out the packaging and wash them because I do not like putting pants on, um, like legging type pants on about washing them because y'all, these stores do return, take returns and I don't think they wash it. And I feel like they fold it back up and put them back on the in the packaging so with that being said i'm washing these when i wash my clothes tomorrow that's it for tonight i'm gonna go um i will see y'all tomorrow peace good morning loves so oh didn't get up as early as i wanted to but i have gotten up we ate breakfast I took my medicine um, that I have to take for 10 days to clear up this breakout. Um, slept good, but I think I slept too good because now this crook in my neck is worse. So right now I'm gonna make me some coffee because I do need to run out the hubs it's gonna take me, which is kind of good because I cannot, this is like as far as I can move my neck. And that ain't good when you're trying to drive in traffic, okay? so. I'm going to actually test out one of my new coffee cups, on the go cups, because I want to make sure that it doesn't leak. The description says that they're double insulated, leak proof, so we're about to see. So I'm going to make this and then we will reconvene in the office because I'm going to finish editing yesterday's um, content. Um, that way I can just add on today's uh probably will be just short this will probably be the shortest day yesterday was kind of long because i did a lot of rambling and i shared a lot of stuff with y'all too so but yeah i do have on my scarf and <clears throat> that i got from Ulta. it feels really nice it feels really nice i have it pulled all the way down because trying to flatten my hair down because I'm going to put my wig on which is my temporary wig the one that I showed y'all in my last week's vlog <clears throat> um, my new wig hopefully should be here um, by the time I film next week's vlog and hopefully I can wear that every day um, right now I'm just wearing that wig for filming and then when I go to work I wear it with a hat on so the end of the quarter is not being nice to your girl physically outwardly but spiritually god is still good he still sits on the throne and i'm thankful that i'm still living and breathing because so much is going on and i think what i might come back on and talk to y'all about is this latest rapper killing murder we got to do better. Like, we all hear Black Lives Matter, but we don't give a f about our lives when it comes to our own community. That's why, I mean, y'all can come for me, but that's why Kanye play us. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, he attacked the black people, talking about slavery wasn't real and all this stuff. And we don't say nothing. All we do is post a couple of posts, and then we still end up buying them ugly sneakers that he got, supporting his brand, making him richer. But when he came for the Jewish community, they won't plan. I feel like as a African American community, we only temporarily stick together when it's a part of the ESPN highlights. But once the highlight reel is gone, it's dead. Like we are the worst. And I can say that because that's my people and that's how I feel. And we're gonna talk about that. Let me get my coffee. Y'all get y'all coffee and come back. Or y'all tea. Or if you at night, your wine whatever because we're gonna talk about this all right y'all <clears throat> so i'm in the office and we're gonna pick up where i left off in the kitchen with all of this crazy stuff and i feel like i'll probably end the vlog with that but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna focus on what i need to focus on and that is finishing editing yesterday's content um that way when i come back i can get myself together and fill my wine down wednesday video um and i also need to do my laundry but the cup haven't opened it yet but i'm loving just the aesthetic of it all like it's always when it comes to coffee cups, the aesthetic for me, eyelashes coming out. But look how pretty this is. I mean, just nice and classic. Fits in my hand. Like I said, this is 16 ounces. And then it's the lid for me. So I love these lids. They have these lids at Wawa. And you just pop it open um, okay and it pops right there nice size opening I did me a pumpkin spice latte with a little bit of brown sugar oat milk um, and then I used the pumpkin spice latte Starbucks creamer. I got the non-dairy one because I try to limit my dairy intake. Um, and then I sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top. So let's taste it and see. It smells good. I'm loving making coffee at home. One, it's saving me. And now that I can make my own little cute on the go, we'll just have to see how well, it, how hot it stays. Um, this is hot, hot, hot coffee inside, but it's not hot on my hands. I actually like the, it's putting out a little bit of warmth, which is good because when you're drinking coffee during the cold, you want something to warm your hands up. Um, so this is good. I would definitely recommend this cup so far, 10 out of 10. Like I said, no leakage at the bottom, no leakage. Cause you know, sometimes you get a little bit of liquid leakage at the top and I feel this all the way up to the top. Yup, no leakage around the rim of the top. Get these, these black ones, best, one of the best coffee purchases I have made thus far. And I'll leave the link to these in the description box. So. I'm gonna go ahead and finish editing. And then when I come back from doing all of the things outside of the house, I will get myself together so I can film my Wind Down Wednesday video. And we will chat and end the vlog there because this is serious. Like, if any of my theologians, Bible readers, Bible scholars are on here, we are living in the days of revelation. And y'all have to remember, I know when I was coming up, when I was a little girl, I was scared to even say the word, read the book of Revelations, because I thought the world was going to end. 
but what it was was Jesus was showing um, the disciple, I believe it was John, I'm not a scholar, but I'll fact check it when I come back. He was showing him what was to come. So it wasn't like once the revelation was given to him, the world didn't end. It went on for creations and creations to where we are now. Um, so it's very important, even if you aren't a believer, read the word so you can get a better understanding of where we are right now. You know, some people believe that the Bible is fictional and that's on them. I'm not here to make you believe what I believe, but I'm here to express and share what God puts on the inside of me, hoping that someone gravitates towards it um, and get a better understanding. So let me go because we're going to leave out the house at one o'clock and I want to try to be finished at least chopping up editing the film and then I'll add my you know green screens and stuff over top of it um but yeah that's about it all right loves so there's the hubs right there hold on it's playing music I don't want to get demonetized Okay, so they're playing some kind of music. Hopefully, you won't hear the music. I'm going to try to talk really loud. Um, but I stopped at the post office, picked up my package, dropped off some stuff that I've been needed to drop off. Um, also, got this change because I got to wash towels when I get to the shop tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get him to stop me by Target. Then I'm going to start the laundry, do my makeup. I'm not going to do the makeup on camera with you all, I don't think, <laughs> because I don't think that's what I'm going to do, but I may, who knows. So I can honestly say so far, I feel better. Um, it's not contagious. It can't be like, y'all know what that means. <sighs> So anyway, so piggybacking off of yesterday's dog's appointment, um, I did take my first dose of medicine this morning before I ate breakfast. Started. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted, that's why I like to vlog by myself. Anyway, more music. So I started taking the medicine this morning. I have to take, for 10 days, I have to take it before breakfast, before lunch, before or either after dinner, and then before bedtime. It's prednisone, I gotta take prednisone. I don't know if I told you all. So I have to take the prednisone for 10 days in which I've Okay, filming will not let me be great. He's wa detailing, washing, whatever you wanna call it, the vehicle. But anyway, it's hot in here. I have to take the prednisone, prednisone for 10 days. And because I have to eat with this medication, I want to be very mindful because I know my stepfather used to take it and he gained a lot of weight by taking it. Um, one of my girlfriends, she told me that I will probably gain weight and I'm not trying to gain no weight. So I'm trying to make sure the meals that I eat are very healthy and low in calories. So in retrospect, it's kind of like a, a gift. <laughs> I know that sounds retarded, but sometimes things are allowed in your life in order to 
make you do what you supposed to be doing anyway. And I'm a firm believer in that. You know, a lot of times people say, well, why, can, why does God let stuff happen? It's not that he's letting, he allows things to happen in order for us to either see the test in it or to fail in the temp temptation of it. And I'm not gonna fail in the temptation. I'm not gonna overeat. I'm going to make sure that I'm eating what I need to eat and foods that aren't going to cause me to <sighs> gain any excess weight because I'm already trying to lose the weight. So anyway, so, so far, like I said, I feel good. I haven't had to put any cream on. Normally I put on cream because it itches and I've been doing good. So the hubs is back in the car. We're about to pull yeah, off. Ain't got it. I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> She tried to say hello. Say hello to the people. Yeah, I'm not trying to sign off, but you know, when I can get QT in, I'll take it however I can take it. <laughs> filming my wind down wednesday video i put my makeup on um and i actually followed followed along with andrea that's how you say her name i've been saying adrian but it's andrea renee she has a tutorial for beginners and i will leave that link below because i wanted to you know kind of apply every layer that i put on today um with some guidance because I'm kind of feeling it out myself but I want to show you um, a couple of things that I did pick up from Target and I'm wearing a couple of those things now so give me one second all right so even though I don't think I need this right now because the medicine that they're giving me is working but I have this Aveeno um, this is the eczema therapy I had it in the the jar form and it worked really well but I think because now it's starting to die down I don't need anything as thick um, and I always keep cortisone cream here whether it's just because but because I've been running through so much of it I stocked up and then I bought the wrong one I should have got the 16 hour but um, these are the elf hydrating camo concealers and this is the full coverage satin um so i got one in deep chestnut and then one in deep cinnamon because i didn't know which one i was going to use but this is the packaging right here 
and I really really liked it I used the deep chestnut as my concealer in my t-zone areas and then I use the I use the deep chestnut to highlight under my under um, my eyebrows and then I use the deep cinnamon as my t-zone concealers um, so I decided to go ahead and keep both of them because they're so close in color I do want to get one more a little bit lighter because I actually like my brows to be just a little bit lighter than what they are they are more on the um, redder side um, but you can still tell but I feel like I did a really good job on my makeup and this is one of my hats that I got from Walmart that I included in my Walmart uh, with my video last week that was a Walmart haul and this is still my temporary wig in which I'm still not comfortable with wearing this particular one without a hat let me see what it looks like I have my hat print now so it looks crazy but it doesn't look bad so as long as I'm you know wearing my makeup um but my real 100% Brazilian human hair one it's been shipped so hopefully I will have that by the next time I film next week is um, voting so I want to make sure before I go that I um, urge you whatever state you're in regardless of your party or whatever please 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 go out and vote because um, let me put this hat on because this little thing right here is getting on my nerves <laughs> Yeah, please go out and vote because don't be the one that's complaining about things not working in your favor. And also remember that with anything that is new, it takes a while for you to see change. Prime example, when you start a new skincare regimen or when you take medicine, it's not going to immediately happen for you. It's going to take time and effort and removing some things that aren't working and adding some new things that's the same thing with government you know we are so hard on our president and stuff like that and regardless of who's the president what matters is who you put in office for your delegates your local state and government officials your senators your congressmen that's where it matters because those are the ones that hold up the process from anything working so, you know, you can't get mad when you say, well, I voted for this person. They didn't do anything. It's because you didn't vote for the people that's in your state and local government. That's how it all really, what it really boils down to. And all of these elections has to do with your state and local governments. If you pick wrong, whenever we get whatever president, if Biden doesn't make it, you know, on the next election and somebody else does, Whoever you put in office next week will determine what gets passed and what gets vetoed. It determines, you know what I'm saying, like, what our future... Like, I'm about to have a granddaughter. God forbid if something happens to her, she can't even choose what to do with her own body. And she's not even born yet. Choices have been made for generations that haven't even entered into this world yet. From people that don't have female parts, that don't know what it's like to be a, a a woman, first of all. So I say all that to say is, please go and vote. It is very important. Secondly, to pick it back off what I was talking about earlier about, you know, murdering of these rappers and black on black crime. I'm not even really gonna get much into that because after I sat on it for a little while, um, I was just like, at the end of the day. It bothers me when we jump on the bandwagon when it's on the highlight reels. It just does. Like I said, I can't speak about nobody else's community because I'm not, you know, flat-footed in the midst of it. I was born into it. And I get angry when I see these people post. Like, I'm being 100. It makes me angry. And I have to remind myself to get back... Um, at peace with myself 
and in a place where God has put me to just continue to show love. That's all that I can do. But it does get me to the point where I have to sit back and guard my ears and my eyes and my heart from what I'm seeing because it's like here in Richmond alone, all of the murders that's happened in the past 30 to 45 days have been high school children. High school children, whether they were a part of the crime or they were an innocent bystander, it's been kids that was walking to the store. They found a boy murdered, then placed in a trash can. Little boy walking to the bus to school, murdered. And that's been over 30 days ago and nobody's caring anymore. Like, that's what I'm saying. And, you know, you probably say, well, Keisha, what are you doing? This is what I'm doing. I'm talking about it on my channel and this video will last and last and last and when somebody watches this video even though it's probably two hours long when they watch this one part they are gonna see that I'm speaking out because it does matter my people matter my children matter the decisions that we make by not voting affect my granddaughter my sons you know what I'm saying and I'm trying to speak out to encourage anybody that's watching this make the decision not even for yourself because the one thing that it says in the bible is that what we do is we lay the foundation for the future generations you know what i'm saying and it's like however i live my life up until 49 it is my job to plant seeds to be better and to go harder and to never sacrifice your morals and your principles just because the highlight reels pop up and it seems like it's popping and it's trending. You know what I'm saying? Or because, you know, you see all of these, you know, influencers or rappers or entertainers, you know, showing the money, having these big parties. And then they end up dying by the same way that you die and you don't even have it. Like, we need to... The re reality is, like, the reason why I don't put on a lot of makeup, because that's not my reality. My reality is how I look day to day. You know what I'm saying? When I do planned content, I try to get myself together, like my Wind Down Wednesday videos and stuff like that. But I believe that if we be more realistic on how we represent ourselves, especially as a culture and a people, our children would be so much better you know people always say like all oh, these kids they turn into crime and violence because they don't have look at ti son what what do he want for him? he don't want for nothing his mother and father are very successful if he needs as long as he is respectful and follow their rules and things i'm pretty sure he can get whatever he want but he want what the streets ain't gonna give you the streets ain't gonna give you love and protection when the feds come knocking, when them secret indictments, you know, start coming out. The streets ain't going to give you no protection when Ray Ray and Boo Boo and them heard that you stole their pack. You know what I'm saying? Ray, the streets ain't going to show you love when your blood is on the ground. They're not going to go console your mama and tell them they know who did it. So, this is why I said I ain't want to get into it because it's, it, it's deeper. It's a, it's a song. It's... I think Lecrae, I don't know who's singing, but it's called, it's, they say it's big, it's deeper than black and white. It's bigger than that. It starts in the home. And whatever seed you plant is the seed you sow. And then when you sow them seeds, if the wrong person water them, it can be catastrophic. So the greatest of everything is love. And that's what starts in the home. Show your child love. Show your child what it's like to have self-respect. And to go out here and get it on their own. Without having to rob, kill, steal, or destroy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where it starts. So when that seed... Because most kids are with you till 18. So as long as you are planting 18 years worth of that kind of seed. When... The seed is sowed and they start going into the world and they be like, okay, this water is muddy. I don't want this water because it ain't going to grow what's inside of me. I want this good living water. Like, that's where we got to be. 
So anyway, I'm getting too passionate and let me sip on this wine that I, I showed y'all this wine earlier yesterday. But yeah, so vote. Sow seeds of love. Sow seeds of self-worth. Teach these kids who they are and where they came from. Like the movie Teal about to come out. Like we are really not that far from far removed from what happened to him. Like I was saying, we are not that far removed from Emmett Till's life being taken from him because he allegedly whistled at somebody that thought that they were better than him. Like Emmett Till was my bonus son's age when he got murdered. Emmett Till today would have been close to my mother's age. You get what I'm saying? So he could have been my daddy. Like, it's not that far removed. Like, we act like that stuff ain't just happen. But we be like, oh, that happened back in y'all day. No, that was your grandma and great-grandma's day. They saw that stuff. And now y'all out here doing what they fought against. So now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fighting against the, the, le the lynching law that they trying to bring back. We doing it for them. They don't even need to do it. We out here killing ourselves. They were like, oh, we don't need no lynch law. We don't need no lynch law. They killing themselves. They doing it for us. We are doing the work for the enemy. Come on, y'all. Come on. Let me stop. Because I think this today's, this week's vlog is going to be too long because it's too much passion. So, I'm gone for real. Vote Tuesday. Plant seeds that build up your children and your community and not tear them down. So until next time, loves, peace.